everyone, in this video I will be teaching you how to make a when stop clicked block in Scratch. So what you're going to want to do is first grab a when flag clicked, then you want to create a variable called timer. And then on start, set timer to point 1. And then in the forever loop, You want to set timer to, you want to grab a plus block from the operator, and then you want to go down to sensing, get the actual timer, then timer plus point 0.1. Then you want to go here to the event section, grab a when loudness, Change it into when timer, and then when timer is larger than timer, show. And then in the beginning, for all, all this, put a hide block, and let's see if it works. Oh, and also, don't forget to go back to sensing, turn on your timer, and let's see. So right now it's hiding, and when you click stop, it shows. I want to explain to you why this happens. So, right now, when you click the flag, it basically hides the cat and sets the timer to point 0.1. Then, forever, it sets timer, our variable, to the actual timer plus point 0.1. What this part over here does is, when you click stop, your variable automatically stops, which allows the timer to get larger. But when the timer gets larger than timer, this basically transmits a signal showing that that happened and which makes it show. So let me show you show it to you in action. So right now it's going timer and timer. They're going by themselves. So now when we press stop, the cat shows. Why? Because the timer stopped, the variable itself stopped. The actual timer kept on going. Then it became larger than the variable. So this thing over here, which made it show. So that's how you can make a when stop clicked block in Scratch. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more Scratch tutorials on this channel, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. Agent Duck Duck Goose out.